The earth like other planets has two kinds of motion rotation and revolution The tilting of the earth is responsible for making days and nights of unequal duration beyond the line of equator It is because all places beyond the equator receive different amounts of sunshine In this chapter we will study the following concepts effects of inclination rotation varying length of day and night day and night the part of the earth that faces the sun is lighted being spherical in shape the earth completes one motion in 24 hours and moves from west to east therefore no place on earth receives sunlight constantly the circle which divides the earth into its lit and unlit halves is known as the circle of illumination as the area in the zone of darkness comes nearer to the zone of illumination there is diffused light this early period of the day is known as dawn as the day advances the sun is seen overhead this period is called midday or noon when the sun is seen over the horizon there is again a period of rare darkness twilight this is known as dusk when it is completely dark it is known as night at midnight the circle of illumination has moved to exactly the opposite side rotation the spinning of the earth around its imaginary axis is known as rotation the axis is inclined as a forced at an angle of 23 and a half degree with the perpendicular to the plane of the earth's orbit the following phenomena are caused as a result of this motion the earth performs this motion at a fixed speed with precision day after day the direction of the movement is from west to east revolution of earth while rotating on its axis in an inclined position the earth also moves around the sun the movement of the planet like earth around the sun is known as revolution The earth completes one revolution in 365 days and 6 hours while 365 days each of 24 hours duration make one year 6 hours are adjusted into one complete day every 4 years this extra day is added to the month of february giving it 29 days instead of the usual 28 days hence every 4 years the month of february has 29 days this year is known as the leap year the next leap year will be while moving around the sun the earth follows a fixed path known as the orbit the earth's orbit is elliptical in shape two spheres of the earth the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere remain inclined towards the sun during one half of the year The earth like other planets has two kinds of motion rotation and revolution the tilting of the earth is responsible for making days and nights of unequal duration beyond the line of equator it is because all places beyond the equator receive different amounts of sunshine in this chapter we will study the following concepts effects of inclination rotation varying length of day and night
revolution. We have already seen how days and nights are caused in the course of the Earth's rotation. The circle of illumination does not exactly cover half of the Earth. The light is always spread over more than half of the Earth. Less than half of the Earth is always in darkness. The point of darkness and sunlight is reached every 24 hours. Sunlight will be longer than the period of time under darkness. When the northern hemisphere remains inclined towards the sun, the days will be longer and nights shorter. The opposite happens in the southern hemisphere where the nights will be longer and the days shorter. When the southern hemisphere is inclined towards the sun, all places in the southern hemisphere will have longer days and shorter nights. Because of the above phenomena, days and nights are always of equal length of 24 hours duration each at the equator. The length of the day goes on increasing towards the poles depending on which hemisphere is inclined towards the sun at the time. Duration of days and nights from the equator to the pole and from one part of the year to another part can be indicated in terms of days and months of the year. Direct and slanting rays. The amount of heat received at the poles is the minimum. It is the spherical shape of the earth as also its inclination on its axis which causes the inclination of the sun's rays. The amount of heat received directly depends on the inclination of the sun's rays. The sun never shines vertically overhead at any place beyond the Tropic of Cancer, 23 degree, 30 north, and the Tropic of Capricorn, 23 degree, 30 south. The vertical rays are direct and thus cause more heat. The slanting rays pass through a greater distance in the atmosphere and cause less heat. The length of the day decreases from the equator as we go polewards. Seasons The inclination of the sun's rays does not remain the same at any one place. It changes because of the revolution of the earth and the inclination of the earth on its axis. The sun is halfway on June 21st in its journey through the northern hemisphere. The same happens on 22nd December when the sun is halfway in its journey through the southern hemisphere between 21st March and 23rd September. Thus, we have four distinct positions of the sun on 21st March, 21st June, 23rd September, and 22nd December. Before explaining the phenomena of seasons relative to these four positions of the Sun, it is important to note the effect of elliptical, almost egg-shaped orbit. The position of Earth on 22nd December. The southern hemisphere starts turning towards the Sun after September 23rd and reaches its maximum position on December 22nd. At this time, the southern polar region has 24 hours of daylight and northern polar region experiences 24 hours of night. The sun is at its greatest distance in the southern hemisphere. It shines vertically over the Tropic of Capricorn. This position is known as winter solstice. In the Tropic of Capricorn, the sun is never overhead at any place. After December 22nd, it again starts moving towards the northern hemisphere and crosses the equator on March 21st. 
The reasons why the Northern Hemisphere experiences winter in December are the same as in the case of summer solstice. 1. The sun's rays are inclined away from the Northern Hemisphere. 2. In December, nights being longer in the Northern Hemisphere, more heat is lost. On 25th December, Christmas is being celebrated in London, New York, and New Delhi, it is very cold in these places. Many places may get snowfall. But in Cape Town, South Africa, in Argentina, and in Australia, it might be one of the hottest days of summer.